She's not here to judge. She's here to report the honest news on healthy living. She's Andrea Donsky, along with Lisa Davis. It's time for Naturally Savvy. I am blessed to have a husband who every morning makes me a green drink with kale and green apple and ginger and lemon. And I have to say, I'm pretty spoiled. And it's one of those things that I think, you know, it's great to have it every day. But what if I did you know, did it for a few days. Andrea, have you done any? Ah, green drink. Andrea has her green drink. I drank mine this morning. What's in yours? Wait, first, what's in yours? (laughs) I have kale. I have spinach. I have some fruits. I have other veggies in there as well. And I love it. I even put some macadamia nuts in here to give me a little bit of fat. Yeah, really awesome. I love it. Oh, cool. That's a great idea. Well, today we're going to be talking with the wonderful Donna Moore. And I'm so glad to have Donna on the show. She is a certified health coach. And we're going to be talking all about beauty detoxes. Hello there, Donna. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Andrea. Thanks so much for having me today. It's so great to have you on. You know, like I mentioned, uh, Andrea and I, or Andrea mentioned too, we have our green drinks every day, but sometimes I feel like I want to do a detox. Talk to us about why it's so important to drink these green drinks, eat more raw foods, and then maybe we can jump into why five days is good and more. So take it away, Donna. Great. Well, you are you are speaking music to my ears. I love that you're both drinking green drinks. And do you find that you miss them on the days that you don't have them? I oh, do. absolutely. You know, I even find a huge difference in my body and how I feel because it's so alkaline, right? So it makes your my joints work better. I just feel overall so much. I have so much more energy and I feel so much better. That's right. Well, th- and that's why I'm planning this beauty detox on my website. I'm still working out the details because it's been the last week of school. But uh, why am I doing it? Because I really, really want to do a juice and smoothie cleanse for myself. Uh, it's summertime. We're eating lighter anyway. School is out. And now for most people, schedules are getting kind of lighter and a little laid back. So it's a perfect time to do this. Um, I also really want to share the benefits of smoothies and juices with my readers I started doing, uh, I don't know how long you've been doing them, but I started doing smoothies or drinking green smoothies about four years ago, and I've been drinking fresh juices for about a year now. And as you said, Andrea, it's made such a difference in my energy levels. I, I feel like I have so much more energy. My skin looks better when I'm regularly drinking green drinks. Uh, my sweet cravings have been reduced, and I tend to make far better choices about foods in general that I put into my body when I'm drinking this way. So I really want others to feel that way too. Now, Don, I have to know, Andrea and I shared what's in our green drink. What is in your favorite green drink? I, I assume you probably have several, but what's the main one? What's your go-to? <laughs> I can tell you what I put in mine today. Today I'm doing a smoothie. Um, I did a juice yesterday, but today I'm doing a smoothie. And the cool thing is that I put broccoli in there and I am so really? not a broccoli person. I don't like broccoli. <laughs> but smooth, That's a great a idea. Great I know this is a great way to fit in vegetables that you wouldn't normally eat, right? So I put um, broccoli, spinach, uh, banana, strawberries, and mango. And then mm-hmm. I added some chia seed and some uh, spirulina, which is it's, a, it's an algae, which probably sounds amazing to your readers. <laughs> but it's actually, um, it's very, very good for you. It's super high in protein, and uh, it's a great source of chlorophyll, which is great for our body you know what, as well. Donna, I'm actually a huge fan of, of, of chlorophyll, and I, well, I oh, take chlorophyll great. daily, and spirulina, so we're very well uh, in tune with what, the, you know, with what they are, and they're so healthy for you. And they also odorize your body, like they take away the odors in your body, and they help, you know, chlorella mm-hmm. specifically helps you detox, super, super healthy for a smoothie. And I love that you mentioned chia seeds. I'm a, ma- a huge fan of chia seeds. Um, not only are they great for smoothies because they help to thicken it but they're also full of fiber and omega-3 so that's awesome what are some other you know, do you ever add in any fish oil or anything like maca into your smoothies as well i i do i have done those before as well uh, maca powder cacao powder cacao powder is just you know chocolate but it's the chocolate without being sweetened so cacao powder maca powder you probably are already aware is good about balancing your hormones um so that's a good one to add too um but yeah, flaxseed. Flaxseed's very um, also full of fiber and full of lignans that help to prevent cancer. So there definitely mm. are a lot of supplements out there too that you can add to your smoothies to make them even that much better for you. 
Now let's talk about detoxes. Now I know that this is a five day beauty detox that you're working on, but is that usually a good place for folks to start? And what about folks who aren't like, you know, drinking their green drinks and smoothies regularly? Should they maybe do a two day or a three day just to kind of get their bodies acclimated? Give us the skinny on that. Okay, well, for anyone who's, going, who's thinking about doing a cleanse, you first of all um, need to check in with yourself and your health and what's that like. And certainly anyone who has a health issue that they're taking medication for needs to um, check in with their general physician and be sure that it's okay and it's not going to interfere with any medications they might be on or whatnot. Um, and doing a cleanse, when you do a cleanse, you want to make sure you do it with somebody who, uh, who knows what they're doing um, or, you know, there are a lot of resources out there, too. There's a great website put out by Joe Crossley from Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. I don't know if you ever saw that documentary. I love him. Yes. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Great documentary. So good. I've yes, interviewed he him. That, he is a gem. He's amazing. So and he has a he has a reboot <laughs> called Reboot with Joe, and it's a great, great website. And so I definitely encourage anyone who's considering going on a cleanse to check out his website. Um, but yes, but having said all that, uh, a, a, ju- a juicing cleanse or a smoothie cleanse is just a great way to help your body um, detox, get rid of any, uh, um, you know, we all have a toxic buildup over time. It just, you know, unless we live in a bubble, that's just what's going to happen. <laughs> so when you go through a cleanse, it allows your body the time to um, not put so much energy into digestion so that it can focus more on maintenance and repair in other parts of your body that need that. The other benefits, too, are you're you're consuming raw foods, and raw foods have their own digestive enzymes. So that's a beauty thing um, because our bodies produce enzymes, but as we get older, they produce them less efficiently. So by consuming foods that have their own enzymes, we don't have to call on our own stores. And that help kind of um, helps to reduce aging in that way. Um, they also have a higher nutrient content when they're raw. It, we take in lots more veggies and fruits than we would typically when we drink uh, smoothies and juices. Uh, we can sneak in veggies, as we talked about earlier. And we're taking in greens. If you put greens into your juice and into your smoothie, you're doing probably one of the most fabulous things you can do for your body. We don't get enough greens um, typically in our diets that we should be getting. Our bodies, physiologically speaking, are still very much like they were in our hunter-gatherer days, and we took in a lot of greens then. We largely subsisted on greens. Um, so now, except for the occasional salads, we really don't get a lot of greens. And when I say greens, I'm not just talking lettuce. I'm talking like um, kale Broccoli and, and kale, and spinach, arugula. exactly. <laughs> exactly, all those things too. Um, but they help to lower blood pressure, they keep the blood sugar balance, they reduce our cholesterol, and they're filled with phytonutrients, phyto meaning plant, of course, but phytonutrients that help to fight disease. We're very good, I think, uh, in this country at focusing on all the macronutrients, you know, your fat, your protein, and your carbohydrates, but we don't focus on the micronutrients, and those are what are responsible for keeping disease at bay. Yeah, and I think you make a really good point. Uh, you know, I really, and what I'm interested in is, so, Two questions I have. So do you use a juicer or do you use something like a Vitamix? Because a Vitamix, you know, won't extract the juices, but it kind of have it kind of has everything in it. Or do you use, you know, and you know, we only have about we have a few you know, 30 seconds left. So really quickly, mm-hmm. what's your favorite go to? Is it the Vitamix? Is it a juicer? What would you say? You know, what would you recommend? I would have to say the Vitamix. Uh, I love my juicer, mm-hmm. but the Vitamix, I can do more things in. So that's the great thing about a blender. And it is an investment, but it's an investment in your health. So it's all worth it. And I just bought I one, and I absolutely love it. And I'm so excited Isn't I have one. Great? So we would, love, we would love to get some recipes from you, Donna, that uh, you know, we could put on Radio MD so people can access them. So until Definitely. next time, stay connected. Stay, until, until, sorry to interrupt you. Until next time, stay connected <laughs> at Naturally Savvy and Radio MD, where we keep you informed and up to date on all things natural and organic. Stay well.